Hello, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at randomizing the pipe's Y position. Because at the moment, if I run the application, what we get is when we actually get in to playing the game, the game state, we get our land that's moving and we get these pipes that are spawning. But at the moment, they always spawn at the same height and this gap is always in the same location. But in Flappy Bird, you sort of have to, you know, just go up and down and there's varying height so that's what we're going to be implementing in this video really simple it's randomized so you'll create some really cool game mechanics so you want to go to your this time we're actually not going to be going to the definition file one of the first tutorials that we won't be starting off in the definition file so i've got some c outs there. actually let me just remove them i believe that's it from the pipe so let's get rid of that and let's just quit out of that so what we want to do is go to our pipe header so pipe header and we need to create a couple of variables so one is going to be int land height this will just be the height of the land sprite and we'll be using this as a basis of let's say how far we could potentially move up because we don't want the pipe to just be floating and we're going to have an int pipe spawn not pip pipe spawn y offset so this is just how much we want it to be moving up and down on the next generation of the new set of pipes and we also need a method called void randomize pipe offset and this will just randomize this offset so we can actually put them in a different position and now if you go to your pipe.cpp in here, if you go to the constructor, we just need to set up those two variables. So underscore land height is equal to data assets dot get texture. And because we're only using one land texture, we can just do land. So we get the land texture that's already been loaded dot get size dot y and now we have the height of the land this will allow us to prevent the pipe from well essentially looking like it's floating you might want that result you can easily implement that if you want to so we are going to set the pipe spawn y offset to be zero initially it's just always good to initialize variables it's a good habit to get into and now what we're going to be doing is doing the randomize pipe offset method so if we scroll down to here put void pipe randomize pipe offset and in here we're going to put underscore pipe spawn y offset equals rand percent this is just basic randomization land height plus one so this will just randomize it between zero and the land height so very very simple stuff so it could be at the top of the land or it could be a little lower and you'll see that the result at in the end does look really really cool so there's one last thing we got to do and that is if we go to the spawning of the pipe so we've got the spawn bottom pipe the x position will remain the same but we also now need to factor in the pop not the pop sorry the pipe spawn y offset so with at the moment we're getting the size of the window the height of it we're taking away the height of our sprite and that's fine but we also need to take away the pipe spawn offset if it's zero it'll just be where it is if it's a greater value it will move up it can't move down it can move up but you'll see it'll essentially look like it's moving up and down and for this one where we've got zero we just need to take away the pipe spawn y offset the way we did the upstairs i mean up here but because it was zero we can just put negative underscore pipe spawn y offset and now if we go to our game state dot cpp in here what we want to do is go to our update method where is it right here so where we actually spawn the pipe before that we want to do pipe randomize pipe offset and that's it if we run this now we hopefully 
build success, successful, which it does. And now, press play. Let's see what we get. We got a pipe. Got another set of pipes in a different position. As you can see, in a slightly different position. It's in a slightly different position. And as you can see, we have randomized pipes. And it's looking pretty good. It's looking like something that you could play with. So just to demonstrate this a little further, I'm going to increase the pipe spawn frequency to 0 0.5. So this way we'll get a bunch of pipes spawning and we can just see the variance in the pipe spawn Y offset. Click play. And as you can see, we have a bunch of pipes. And it is looking pretty darn cool. So that is it for spawning pipes. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our educational platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.